Hello, hello, and welcome to my happy place. I have a palette to do. I have done my base makeup, which I will go over later what I used. Um, I had bought this palette a long time ago, and I lost it, and I found it today. And it came in this box. I have not taken it out haven't seen it in person so there's a very pretty picture of Jeffree Star and his palette is on the back I had been wanting to play with this but then when I came to look for it so I found it today in the garage underneath some other boxes that I had put away I had thought I took it out of the box it wrapped so nice we have one, and we have bubble wrap, and then the palette itself. I don't know if that showed. <laughs> I'm ha having a little trouble focusing my camera, or it's something that I've been doing wrong. And let's see what we have. Oh, it's pretty. I like it that it has his face on it. And this is the palette. And the back. And I'm going to let you see it first. For some reason, it went in and out. <laughs> like I say, I've been having... It's a nice plastic cover. I've been having problems with the focusing. So mirror and here's the palette hopefully it is showing up because like I said I've been having trouble focusing and that is the now I have to wait for it to come back light again <laughs> I think I'm going too close that's the sheep -a doodle hopefully for him it's almost time for bed so this is nice, folds back all the way. So I have my little 10X. I have a new set of bref breakfast, breakfast. <laughs> I'm thinking ahead because it's eight o'clock at night. Um, I have a new set of brushes and they're Refer, R-E-P-H-R refer brushes that I've had for a while but I've never used them just managed to wash them and get them ready to go so I'm going to start with the soft blender and does it have a number on it 16 and I guess it would help if I looked at the colors first okay I need a nice transition color I think that's the one I'm going to use. I have to lay my glasses gently on the top so I don't lose them. Um, which color did I just put my finger in? <laughs> okay. And there's some dust coming off, but no, no kick up in the pan. Since this is a uh, very plain palette, it should be an easy palette. I should have put you in close. I'm sorry. You know, it takes me several hours to get ready and still not close enough. Get myself ready and get the courage up to do a video. And then by the time I get the courage up and I have everything set, I am uh, tired. Because <laughs> for some reason I always do it late. It's like I say, I, I, try, I have to get the nerve up. Let's 
Daisy. That's a very pretty grey. Let's put a little more on. I still have um, the uh, incision line on my eyes and the swelling has not gone down all the way. It's a nice brush. So nice and soft. I'm going to call the eye doctor tomorrow to make an appointment to have my eyes checked. Now, for the crease. Don't come after me if I don't use the brushes the right way. But I'm going to um, use a number 14. And I'm going to go into the crease with uh, I think the one that's, well, that's not, it's more brownie gray than gray. I'm going to go into the crease with um, I think it just says Wednesday. This one right here. That show up. And I have it on the back of my finger. I'm not sure it's dark enough. What can I wipe it on? Okay. It was um, chilly in New York today. It was in the 70s, but because we had um, a rainy day, not a hard rain, kind of rain light all day, um, it, uh, without the sun, it just seemed to be cool. So you know it's the end of the summer. Usually with the shadows, I don't have to dip in again. So I'm surprised. That uh, I have to dip in again. Let me look at my 10X and see what I've done. Now I know this is for supposed to be for goth people, but I don't care. <laughs> I just like Jeffree Star. Although I'm not sure about his new palette. I'm having a little hard time um, deciding on that one because it's neutrals, but I had just bought the Wayne Goss uh, palette, so I don't think I really need any more neutrals. However, his packaging is so beautiful on it. Now, um, there's some glitters and some shimmers and they're all dark colors. Let's see, they're pretty dark. I don't want to go into uh, the glitter. I want to go into a shimmer. So I'm just going to go into one that's not too dark. But they're all kind of dark. Uh, I'm wondering if I can try a... I think this is a packer brush. I should have looked up on the website to see which brush did what. But this is an O2, and I'm going to go into the shimmer and see about backing this on. 
Okay, I'm happy with that. So far, no fallout, which is wonderful. Let's see. It's funny because looking down at that palette in my lap, it kind of looks green instead of gray. And I should have showed you that it's this one. Is there a name? Death Certificate. Do I have a problem with it being a cremated palette at this time in history? No. No. Because they're just words. They're just words and names of things. So I don't have... I have no problem with the, uh, with the palette or the names or anything like that. I just don't have a problem with it does not bother me. And I suppose a lot of the people who purchased this palette also felt the same way because I believe it's sold out. Now there is a very glittery glitter here. And you are called Pole Bearer. And I wonder if I could pack you on in the middle. Let's see if it'll go on with that. And it doesn't seem to want to go on with the brush so I'm gonna try my finger I just kind of really wanted it I have to use my pointer finger because my middle finger that you're supposed to use is just too big <laughs> I just want to put that right in the middle there did it work not really it went all over my fingers are just too big I should use the pinky I'm just going to take this uh, number 10 and just try to get that out of my crease a little because it went up too high. And teeny tiny bit of fall up from putting that on. Now let me do the other side. I have to learn to maybe to put it on my finger lower or something. Okay. I'm going to take a shader brush and just try to get that out of the crease. very pretty. Okay, now I am going to do the outer edge. So I'm going back with the 14 and I need a darker gray than I used before. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to try Grave Digger. I'm just going to go here and try to blend that in a little bit. Did I go over too far? I'm having so much trouble seeing on this side. I tried moving my light over so that it wasn't so dark on that side. Uh, where is it? I forgot what I was using. 
grave digger. going to not put any more on the brush but just kind of blend that into the lower crease a little bit. So I do have a couple of rogue uh, glitters. Not much I could do about that. Now I'm going to take diamond ashes down here. I'm just going to put a little up here because I'm using a very uh, tight brush, the number 12. It's uh, not showing up. I think if I used a softer brush it would show up too much. Onto the lash line, I am going to use mm, Solemnly Swear. And let's see if the refer brushes have a very thin. Yeah, this is number 03. And what did I say? Solemnly, solemn. Oh boy, I can't say that. Solemnly swear. I'm just ever so lightly putting it under here. I just heard my husband come home. So if he comes in the room, I'll just have to stop the uh, my video because I did not text him to tell him I was doing a video and he tends to clump in with his big shoes. <laughs> I'm not being very nice, right? <laughs> okay. I hope this time I stayed a little better in frame. have some of the glitter fall out on my face. Don't care. Now I'm just going to rub that brush off. I'm just rubbing it off on a towel and I'm going to go into the um, diamond ashes again down here. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that in the corner of my eye. I can get that off with some powder. So I am going to find a eyeliner because this is it so far. Eyeliner a blush because I didn't know which way this was going. Uh, lipstick. Mascara. <laughs> and I'll be right back. And I'm back. So, this is my look. 
and I'm hoping you're able to pick up I don't know if I used enough but I used a pink eyeliner I'm wondering if you can see it problem being that I poked myself in this eye and some of the pink went in my eyeball so it kind of turned my uh, eye pink so what do we think I love this palette um, I know a lot of people oops new wig is giving me a little bit of a hassle here I know a lot of people um, didn't like it but I do uh, and like I said the names don't bother me they're just words so let me bring you out Did I go the right way yeah so this is my new wig I wanted to go a different color so I went red I'm thinking I like the um, the last one I wore more uh, let's see I'm going to put my glasses on and tell you everything I used I do have quite a bit of glitter um, not the uh, mats but the glitter certainly did come down I'm not going to um, use glitter next time now when he had the sale Jeffree Star I brought another skin frost so I am going to um, put that on my daughter laughs at me when I put on highlighter She says, you just have a strip of strip of uh, glitter. So this one is a little more gold tone than the one I have been using. The others were sold out. It's very soft. Oops. Maybe I should have just put that higher, but so first thing I used was the Skin Frost in Ice Cold by Jeffree Star, and it does leave quite a shine. Party time! Friday time. <laughs> Oops. I have a feeling I have this wig on crooked. So, what did I use? I used um, Oops. Uh, it's CC Cream Your Skin But Better um, CC Illumination with 50 SPF but I just want to try an experiment here and see if it shows up more. If I just use something behind it, maybe. Now I I have the um, the regular it's CC cream, and I like that. And this is in the color light. I'm not liking this. Um, it shows all my lines kind of. I guess because it's uh, illuminated. I'm going to show you this. And I also see little sparkles in it for some reason when I look in my 10X. I don't know if you can tell because it's pretty close to my skin. But um, yeah, it's shiny. But for some reason um, I just saw little little glitter things, tiny, tiny glitter. So I'm not sure I like this. Um, I might have to try it. I didn't use um, a primer for my uh, CC cream because uh, I'm going to go to bed soon. So I don't need it. Um, I used straight. Jeez. And then I used the Charlotte Tilbury powder. I used 
the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. I use the um, Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder, which I like. I used a Chanel brush, blush, blush, rose acrin. I'm going to put this so I don't lose my place. Come over here. I just wanted to show you the color. It's a very pale color. Then I used the Marc Jacobs, which is my favorite bronzer. I used, uh, I did not bring over the uh, liquid eyeliner, but it's just a regular liquid eyeliner. And then on top, on the upper level of the liquid eyeliner, I used the ABH Norvina. Um, like this the uh, eyeliner and you have to put a little water in it I actually think I have to let that dry out and that's what happened I used a little too much water and then it went into my eyeball <laughs> ouch and turned my eye pink I just used uh, a Jeffrey gloss a Jeffrey star candy yum yum is it a gloss? Lip glass. And it's pinky pink. And then I used, um, it's getting warm. I used the Milk Makeup Eye Primer and the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes the mascara on top and on the bottom I use the MAC extended play giga giga black lash because this has a tiny brush and this has a big brush so I don't like to put it on the lower and today's wig which I get from wig studio one I order their wigs uh, it's the orchid collection by Renee of Paris and uh, in Cinnamon Swirl and it just has a model number 5024 it doesn't seem to have the name of the uh, of the wig but it's fun it's flirty let me put you out even more so you can see here we go and it, it's it moves nice I can swish my hair. <laughs> so that's, I'm pretty sure that's everything I used today. So I want to thank you for coming to my happy place. Come on, wig. Behave. And watching me use the Jeffree Star. What was it called, actually? I don't know. Gray palette? <laughs> I don't remember what it was called. Um, I like it. And I am going to use it by putting um, uh, uh, other colors on the lid, I think. But I like it. I would like to learn to do a little bit of a wing and bring it out more so that the pink shows more um, on, the, on the eye. This eye got so glittery. Um, what else was I going to say? I guess, thank you for coming to my happy place. Uh, happy trails. Until we meet again. Bye-bye.